CPR has come a long way thanks to a new device that is saving lives. A Wisconsin man received CPR for two hours and 45 minutes, was clinically dead, and lived to tell about it. Trisha Volpe shares his story in this joint CARE 11 NPR News report. With western Wisconsin farm country in full autumn bloom. Come on, Maddie. Come on, Murph. Every step Tim Franco takes is better than his last. I guess I appreciate it more. Just weeks ago, Tim wasn't sure he'd ever experience another fall walk with his wife, Ellen, again. I'm always on the go. Most of the time at work, they think there's three of me. But last August, a previous heart problem showed up again. Tim, who's just 56, was at work but didn't feel well. I just had a kind of an upset stomach. Tim doesn't remember calling his wife that day to tell her he was going to Regions Hospital. Doesn't remember collapsing. The St. Paul Fire Department responded and administered CPR with the help of this. It's called Lucas, a device that's gaining ground in the medical community for its ability to keep the heart pumping blood to the brain and other organs in heart attack patients while performing CPR. It works by actively pushing on the chest, then pulling it out again, different than standard CPR, which just pushes. Here, you have compression, then decompression. So that when you pull back on the chest, you create a vacuum inside the chest which does a lot of important things. At Regions, Ellen waited. I kept praying, please, you know, bring him back. You got him this far, bring him back. Tim underwent CPR with Lucas for two hours and 45 minutes, 32 shocks to the chest. Regions believes it was among the longest CPR procedure in history. And then in the middle of it all, with Lucas doing CPR, Tim had an angioplasty to clear out the clot blocking his heart, a chance doctors took seeing Tim might survive. And he did. And I um, said, um, honey, am I your wife? And he shook his head yes. And then I said, honey, am I your beautiful wife? <laughs> And he shook his head yes again. And, and even more remarkable, perhaps, Tim suffered no brain damage, as sometimes happens in heart attack patients. Medical miracles, says cardiologist Dr. Johannes Brechten. It is still, um, um, for me, hard to comprehend that this truly went so perfectly. I was hopeful. And Tim, so grateful to the doctors who didn't give up and to the Lucas device that kept him alive to enjoy many more autumn walks. I'm probably a pretty tough old guy, so <laughs> I was able to keep going. Well, the Lucas does not replace standard CPR. A local medical trial found 50% greater survivability with less damage to the brain using the Lucas. We detail other survivor stories involving extended period CPR on care11.com and nprnews.org. Still to come at 